Guys, I can't believe it. I'm gonna be starting my biggest project ever. This is gonna be my largest mural to date. In this video, I'm gonna take you through the process of creating my largest mural, totaling 1,000 square feet. If you're not familiar with square footage, that means 15 feet by 71 feet. I also got creative freedom to create whatever I wanted, so I'm pretty hype about that. It's in the heat of the summer, so this mural is definitely gonna test my limits. Jesus Christ. If you're new to my channel, my name is Junior. I'm a full-time artist. I create murals, paintings, digital art, and a lot of random stuff. The business owner of Supercool, an HVAC company in Charlotte, reached out to me wanting a mural on the side of his building, but he wanted it on a smaller wall. I couldn't help but be attracted to the opportunity of the larger wall on the other side of the building, so I asked him if I could put a mural on that thing, and he was down. I'm still gonna do a mural on the other wall, but that's for another day. Since this is a narrow street and on an incline, we had to see if the boom lift was gonna work out. After testing it for about 30 minutes, I got to see it go up and down the slope without a problem. Once I figured it out, we got the green light to start the project. There were parts of the wall that were in really bad condition and it needed primer and a little bit of love. So before painting, I had to prime certain spots. In order to get this design on the wall, I was gonna use a projector to project my mural. So I had to wait till nighttime. And because this wall was so large, I had to project it in sections. We were out there till three o'clock in the morning. After the projection was done, that's when I started buying supplies. This part was a little difficult due to dealing with many colors, but with a little organization and preparation, I was able to figure it out. Now I need to organize all of this to know what colors go where and what goes with what part of the mural. Because this is one of my biggest murals ever, I can't lie, I was so intimidated on my first day. I had so many things running through my mind, whether or not this was the right project for me, whether or not I knew what I was doing, and just doubt. Doubt just always creeps in anytime I do something that I am not comfortable with. But I had enough confidence to know that I was meant for this project, that this project just didn't land on my lap out of coincidence. It landed because I manifested it and I got here because I wanted it. It also really helped that I had creative freedom to create something that I wanted and having a client stand behind that means the world to me. Right here, man. Thanks bro, I appreciate it man. Nice, how long do you think it's gonna take about? Yeah, I'm hoping to be done by next week, but I don't want to put that much pressure on myself. No, you know no, what I mean? No, no, never do that, bro. Because it's going to be in the 90s like, exactly. for at least 10 more days, I say. It was also extremely hot. Working in these conditions is no easy task. I started working at 7 a.m. and would work to about 5 p.m. That's about 10 hours of work per day. So you can imagine what that does to the body. really well day three going really well it's hot but that's something I can't control it's looking real cool though painting on corrugated walls is one of the hardest things to do but I'm really liking how everything is coming out one of the hardest things I dealt with painting this wall was dealing with corrugated metal I never painted on a wall this wavy so I was trying to figure it out along the way it was just a matter of how to figure it out. But regardless of how patient you are, you're definitely gonna run into a lot of issues. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I guess tape isn't a good idea. Oh man. I think I'm gonna need a lot more paint than what I expected, a lot more. This was my fifth day working on the mural. 
And at this point, I was getting a hang of working with this wall. Of course, I was dealing with frustrations as always. They were inevitable, but I was figuring out a process as I went along. A lot of people that walked by the mural couldn't believe that I was even taking on this project. They thought that I was crazy for taking on the wall at this magnitude and that type of surface. One thing that I told everyone was that I was very fortunate to get this wall. And even though it wasn't the surface that I preferred, I was just happy to be able to put one of my designs, one of my designs that I created from my mind onto the wall. And having creative freedom is something that you usually don't get as a full-time artist. You're really working for a paycheck and that gets really difficult on the mind, your creative soul, and the things that you're trying to push out. Because, because the more you try to create art for other people, the further you feel from getting to the goals that you want to get to. And of course, money is a motivator, but it's not the end result and it's not the goal, for me especially. So being able to be in this position and create a mural with full creative freedom and have a client stand behind me wanting me to produce this on their building was truly one of the biggest blessings of 2024. So I miscalculated on a lot of paint. We ran out of that pink paint in the bottom and I need to go make another order. So this is gonna delay the process of the finish time of the mural, but I'm pretty sure that we can still get it done in a good amount of time. So um, let's go ahead and place that order and see. But it's turning out good. I really love it. And uh, yeah, I'm really loving this process. After waiting a full week to get that order in, I was getting so anxious to get back out there and start the process again. This mural was calling my name. I was just having so much fun out there. It was like I was just in my element doing what I love. Of course, the weather wasn't the greatest. It was hot and it was honestly miserable some of the days. It reached 100 degrees some days. It was something that I didn't mind because of course, I get to do something that I love. And when you do something that you love, you want to be around it 24 seven. And I also just wanted this project to be complete and have it in my portfolio. I was, I was waiting for that moment to see that finished product. And the more I saw that image in my head, the faster I wanted to get there. And of course, it's not about speed. It's not about how fast you can get it done, but that's the way I work. You know, when I want something, I go for it a hundred miles an hour. And this is what this mural is about. This mural is about intention, focus, drive, going after what you want with full intensity as much as possible and showing that the sky is the limit, that nothing is stopping you but you. And you can reach your goals and go as far as you want and as fast as you want. It's really up to you. Go chase your dreams, do what's best for you, and don't let anybody stop you. Because at the end of the day, your life belongs to you, and we have been given the opportunity to do what we want, how we want, and when we want. So this is the true meaning of this mural, and I wanted to give this inspiration out into the world and to the community. At this time, I had to buckle down and actually get the mural done because the owner of the lift needed it back for another project. Knowing this actually motivated me to get the mural done in time and in a fast manner. Learning everything that I learned in the first seven days allowed me to try to become more efficient as I was trying to paint the last part of this mural. I was able to try to find a way to handle this project and minimize the delay in getting the project finished. Guys, I was so close to finishing and I ran out of purple. 
damn i was so close that's all the color i need i'm gonna go to the store and see if they have some i'm hoping to the pink gods that they have some of that exact purple and if they do we can finish it within the next like 30 minutes they had just the colors we needed all right now let's finish this thing to show you the reveal So make sure you go after your dreams with full intention and don't let anyone get in your way. And as always, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I will love your support and stay tuned for all the other videos I have coming.